Microsoft Office 365 Productivity Suite is a collection of tools for performing various tasks like email communication, document storage, social collaboration, work management, and a lot more. To make our tasks simpler and increase collaboration, Microsoft introduced Office 365 groups which enables us to choose a set of people with whom we want to collaborate. It also provides us resources which can be shared by the members of the group, for example, shared inbox, calendar, document library, OneNote notebook, and planning tool. In this video, we will show you how you can create an Office 365 group in Outlook 2016. For that, you need to access your Outlook 2016 for desktop. Under the Home tab, you will get the option of creating a new group. This is the option. Click on New Group. The Create Group window will pop up. Here, under Choose a Name, you can enter a name for your group. For example, the marketing team of my company is planning to launch a new offer related to our managed support services. To plan out the strategies and divide the task or to keep the track of all the activities related to the marketing offers, the team can create an Office 365 group and add all its members, which will allow them to easily collaborate and share their ideas at the same place. So let me enter the name of the group as Fortron Marketing Offers. When you enter the name for your group, it will automatically suggest an email ID for your group. For example, here it has suggested Fortron Marketing Offers. This email ID is available. If I want a short name for my group, I can choose the group ID. And if that ID will be available, I can use it for my group. You can also set the privacy of the group as either public or private. The public group will be accessible to all the people within your organization whereas the private group will be accessible only to the members of that group. So let me make this group as private. If I want the members of this group to receive the notifications in their inbox, I can check this box and then click on OK. Here I can add the members to my group. So for example, let me add Aditi Vikas Meghna. These are the members of my group. I can give a brief description for this group. So here I have given the description as this group is made for having the discussion and strategize our plans for the offers launched by the company. Then click on OK. Now the group has been created. So this provides us a common place for having a conversation sharing our documents and can planning our tasks. This is for now. To know more about the features of Office 365 Productivity Suite, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.